So here's an e interesting cross out of Exotica. This is Nepenthes peltata cross joculinea. Um, you know, I, I took a chance on this one in the uh, fall 2022 import from Redleaf, um, thinking that it sounded really cool. And since I had kind of an affinity for joculinea crosses, I figured that this would be a really interesting one with the squat kind of urn-shaped peltata uh, cross with uh, joculinea, which I think, um, you know, when, when bred well, joculinea crosses are some of the nicest out there. Um, this was an interesting one because it came with pictures that had absolutely no color on the peristones. And then um, it produced this really nicely shaped one that's hiding back here. Um, really nice shape on this one. And I started getting excited about this plant right around the time it put this one out. And then it produced this one, which has a lot of stripes in the peristome. So this is a, this is a plant that uh, definitely has um, its cycles and its and its stages, which is really cool. It's one of the things I love about growing the panthes. Um, you know, the, the way they develop as they grow bigger and older is super cool to me. And I find I honestly find it kind of disappointing when a plant matures early and and looks like its mature self at a small size. Because I really like these kind of surprises and this kind of waiting game with the panthes. Um, it also has this really cool trait. It produces a lot of nectar, almost exudate on the underside of the lid on a, on its pitchers. That pitcher had that too. So that's very interesting. It has a thick syrupy liquid, just like Jocklinia. And, um, you know, I've got some other cool stuff that's kind of relevant to this plant in the greenhouse. I have the Nepenthes peltata right here. I mean, you can definitely see, um, obviously, where peltata Jocklinia gets a lot of its coloration from and uh, the stripage on the parasol. These are two different peltata. I think they're two different clones. They're two different Grexes. Uh, that said, I'm kind of wondering if this 4025 is the same um, in the, a clone as this 3464. If that is from a microprop. Anyway, this isn't about Peltata, but just to kind of compare similar plants. And here's Jacqueline with its one little pitcher right now. Uh, but it'll have a few more. And you can, obviously, you know, it's very obvious where, um, you know, Peltata gets, where the Peltata Jacqueline gets traits from this plant. Um, I always like a plant that has two kind of dominant parents in it. Uh, Peltata is a very dominant parent in hybrids, and so is Jocklinia. So this one I thought was very intriguing. And here's another plant that's similar. This is Raja Jocklinia, which is a, a it's a very t small pitcher plant at the moment. And I don't mind if it stays that way. I really like these little gem-like, red gem-like pitchers. And uh, the, the Jocklinia is very evident here as well. And I really have high expectations for this one too. And hopefully this will have enough pictures on it at some point to do uh, a spotlight on this one. This is one of the only individuals left in cultivation from the Grex released by Jeremiah Harris back in probably the mid 2010s. Um, by, and when I say that, I mean there's probably 15 out there um, or so. But uh, anyway, uh, Jacqueline, um, exotica plants.